Hi everyone, new name, playing this new game, Watch Your Realms, on uh, day 99. And today, on day 99, I'm actually quite proud. This was a bit tricky. It took me a little bit to figure out timings and placements due to the heroes that I have, but I three-starred stage 11 occultist, and I one-starred stage 12. And as you see here, you require three fighters. And there's only three fighters in the entire faction, and one of them's a legendary, Cerberus, and I don't have him. So I'm going to show you the gallery for the reason of, I don't have most of the legendaries. I have one. I have Kriya. And my Kriya is still, she's only a five star. And you start looking down. You're like, yeah, there's uh, there's not really much going on in ways like I don't have a tank. If I had Captain Reef, I probably wouldn't need to use Sirene to tank. And you're like, Sirene tanking? I don't have a choice. So hopefully, as you can see my gallery here, I was forced into using some Cheaper heroes are easier to free to play get heroes. So this strategy might be more akin to the lineup that you have available for yourself. Gear, I can't help you with gear. Again, if you're trying to get past stage 11 and do stage 12, you have to have gear. It doesn't matter what heroes you have. This is the end game stuff, okay? So the power of dominance. See how it's on? We're going to take it off. All right. So now here's the lineup. And you start looking down my line. There's just this one five-star Kriya, okay? I really started to enjoy the faction trials about a week ago. And the ingenuity that it forces you to come up with if you are hampered and uh, roster-gated. You just don't have the heroes like I don't. So I got as far as I could in, in Esoterrorist. I need one more star, but you have to have two healers. I only have Elowen. So Greed does a wonderful job on this stage. I put him right here facing up and he can already start attacking them once they pause here. This little corner, one of these slimes, they sit in it, okay? So Elucas goes right next to him with a slow. But what's really important is to get the Elucas in as soon as you can while they're still sitting in that red bubble there. And now the mobs, these purple slimes from hell, they're melting so quick. So again, you know I don't have a tank, right? Sirene is my tank here. And the sooner you can kill, obviously, the mobs before they explode, Sirene doesn't take any damage. She's also going to generate cost. And I put, I'll show you after, she has the lucky, whatever it's called, artifact, that sometimes the cost that she generates, it's going to double. I think it's only like a 5% chance. But she stays on the map until her ultimate goes off. So her ultimate went off. And she comes up. And as you see to help Aatrox here, in that corner, I put Voltus down. Okay, And the reason that Voltus, you face him to the left, is because he's going to help with these uh, bastard fish that come swimming out of the spawn point here. All right, so can't do anything more with uh, Aatrox. His job is done. You take him out. This is the most important placement for me on this entire map. It's putting Yona facing left. Because there's going to be the, uh, the giant squid head octopus head guys, the Maws, I think they're called, or Maws or whatever, and they're going to come out and she can wipe them off the map and all the fish if you time her ultimate correctly. The issue is, is that the timings of the ultimates depend on which wave phase you're in. So this one on stage 11, I have to wait till they've all stopped completely before I engage them with the ultimate. And it just so happens that it times out with the uh, hollow being placed down. So you notice how my hollow is here. And in her range now, she's able to heal everybody that might get hit by fish. Okay? Because the fish never make it to greed. If they make it to greed, I fail the run. It's not a three star anyways. So watch Iona work here, okay? And once Kriya has her ultimate available, I just hit it right away. Because Iona wipes all these guys out and then Kriya's froze come and she'll help with those fish. Now we put Aatrox back in the same spot again, okay? My Aatrox isn't strong enough to melt everybody as they walk by. He is on 10, but not on 11. So I have to block one of the spawn points up here with him. And again, Voltus, I have him in decent enough gear. I think he's a five-star, so he's able to help out there, okay? Now what's important is I put my uh, Aeon down, and she's going to use her... Star Trek tractor beam on these slimes when they explode down here. Because you definitely don't want to be dealing with 10 slimes. 
with Sirene as a tank. But I've got to wait before I can drop my Sirene. Excuse me. Until after Aatrox finishes killing that guy. Because uh, if any of those guys in the top lane make it into the water and come out, it's game over. They just one-shot everybody. Maybe if you have, like, Captain Reeve or something, he might live. I don't know, okay? But as soon as those guys get into the water and they come out, they come out with a spear. And it's like those clips of uh, normal stage 8 and 9 campaign things. And you just get ruined, all right? So Cyrene, she stays there until that happens. Everybody's dead. I bring her out, okay? So I use the ultimate, as you saw there, with Voltus. But now everybody's wiped out. So Aatrox is going to have to be placed again. So I might as well put him down now. All right? He's not going to die by the time the last spawn wave comes. And I leave Aeon out because she has her full rage bar. And you saw I didn't have to pull away that time. Then you start looking down here, and this is where it's tricky. If you leave your Sirene in too long, she's going to be like a half a second too late. Because of all these slows, that's where you get the way with what I'm doing. The strategy only works because of all the slows. And I'll show you the artifacts that I have on the heroes as well. And that's what really, really helps them. So once one of these guys explodes and they're sitting in Greed's thing, see that? I tractor beam them with Aeon. And she ruins their day pretty quickly. All right? So here's the other key, is once the Siren is about to come out, I hold on to Aeon. Now I'm going to put my Siren down. And hopefully she's able to block everybody, as you see there. So this this um, slime is going to keep fighting Siren. I've never had this before, but there's nobody really left for me to worry about. So I can put my well, Siren down to take care of that. I've never done it this way before, but as you're seeing over here, Yona's taking care of everybody. The issue I have is, is if um, Siren dies here, then that slime is going to be able to just run away. So I, like I said, I've never really had this happen before. I would have pulled Aatrox off just a little bit sooner had I known that. I might get away with it. It looks doubtful, though. Siren's starting to lose some health. We'll see if osiren has got it in him. I don't like Osiren at all. I think he's pretty crappy. Come on, damage. Oh, it's close. Actually, I think that's pretty exciting for the final opportunity that I had to make this video to three-start with this close of a finish. But as you saw here, I had Aatrox ready, so he was... It would have been okay. And that's how I have to do stage 11 three-star for the faction trials of the cultists. I don't like it with the roster that I have. I don't really have much of an option, but uh, it's done, okay? I'm not going to go through the damage numbers. They're pretty irrelevant because of where you place them. And obviously, Eon is going to do a massive amount in greed for being AoE, all right? So if... You don't care any further. You've seen what you need to see. Thank you very much. Please share the information and the strategies with people that are struggling that you're aware of or in your guild. I will now show people the gear that I had on if they want to stay for that long. So we're going to go into our cultist. And like I said, I really wish I had a Cerberus. And since I don't, there's not much I can do about it. Okay. So this is just mismatched gear again. I normally have it just riding on my Silas, but it's on my five-star Kriya. But I put her with the uh, unfortunate skull here so that her throws, when they do AoE, it helps. All right. So Iona has got my strongest mage. As you see here, it's a level 22 tier of Twilight. It really helps like that. 28% increased attack when there's nobody hurting her. She just hammers the hell out of them. Okay. And I put her in some pretty decent gear here. All right. And uh, her attack is it's not too bad for an epic mage. All right. So Greed, the same thing. This is what I normally put on my Hex. I put it on Greed, and as you saw, he does his job, no problem, okay? And this is the strongest Unfortunate Skull that I have. It's 14% increased AoE damage, or sorry, 31% increased AoE damage. So it really helps melt those slimes. So I have a Euphoric Orb on my Hollow, and she's wearing a Slepsis. Again, I don't know. A Slepsis? I don't know. But uh, this is what I normally put on my Elowen, okay? And it's nothing really special, but it's got decent amount of speed, kind of, you know. So Aatrox, is, he's just in enough to melt as many of those guys that spawn as he can. But I give him 
the extra block and the heal is it's not so much as you saw he's not dying nobody's really going to kill him i want him to heal just a little bit to make sure that he's there all right excuse me so eon hey eon i make sure that uh i don't really care about her damage but that chance to slow and to slow them for 50 percent for two seconds every four seconds even functions when she's doing that tractor beam so as she's pulling them through greed's circle it might slow them so that they're stuck to her for a 50 percent speed reduction for two seconds but she's in what i normally run on my zilla tour or whatever this is pretty crappy infernal roar set but it helps okay so osiris and i just put him in a bunch of whatever i could just just to get the job done forget his artifact uh the tome of horror wallet yeah so if this target's slowed he gains rage regen like he doesn't do anything so here's the lucky lunacy that every time the cost as you see it's restored there's a chance five percent that it's doubled so if you level this up i don't know what it goes to but it works okay and i just put sirene in my brocure gear so that she doesn't die that's all i don't care about the damage that she did then Elucas, i was like you know i don't know how much damage i can pull out of this guy he's a level 50 rare okay so i put him in like this insight set that i have all right and his artifact is the uh maxed uh, nether messenger uh, spirit siphon sorry because he's single target so he boom boom he keeps hitting the same thing and then my level 50 voltus same thing unfortunate skull for the aoe as you saw it works pretty well for him but uh he's in what's normally on my abomination he's got seven thousand attack nothing special i hope these guys help you and i hope you will achieve your goal if it's the same as mine at day 100 i didn't expect that i would be at uh almost complete for the faction trials and i'm very happy about that and 255 i'm not going to complain i wish everybody a happy and safe new year take care <laughs>